Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I'd like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. Well, I thought I'd make a three-week post-op video just to give you an update on how things are going after my inguinal hernia surgery. And the last time I made a video, it was post-op day number three, and I noticed that on post-op day number four and five, there was a little bit more pain in my inguinal region, but never anything more than a three out of 10, and it was really nothing of any uh, magnitude that I felt I needed to make a video over. Um, it was really more of a burning pain. And, uh, but outside of that, that has improved dramatically. And I really, again, have relatively no pain postoperatively. One thing I've noticed is that at this point now, I just feel like I have a three inch piece of PVC piping, maybe the size of my finger, right in my groin. It's, it's hard to press down on, but um, I saw the PA for my two week post-op, the only post-op visit that I'll be getting. And uh, she said that everything looked great and that I was healing up very, very well. I noticed about two days before that appointment that the swelling in the in the surgery area had really come down. I, I would say it was probably 30 to 40% better. She mentioned that I could expect swelling in my, in my inguinal region for about six months um, postoperatively. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But right now, I think things are really improving. Um, my biggest concerns at this point, well, number one, this was the time after my robotic surgery, it was at the three to four week post-op period is when I developed my small bowel obstruction. So of course I'm, an, I'm on edge about that right now, but I, I really don't think I really need to be worried about that because this surgery did not involve anything up in my intestines. It was all down in my groin, whereas the robotic surgery, you know, they're inflating your, your abdomen. And I've often wondered, you know, they're pushing your, 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 your abdomen out. Well, what happens when the gas pushes into your peritoneum, the lining over your intestines, you know, could that have caused it? Nobody can give me an answer on that. So I'm just hypothesizing on my own, but either way, um, you know, that, that concerns me at this point, but we'll get through that fear and, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll move on. The other thing is, and this is probably the bigger issue is I've really had to come to grips with what I'm going to do with, with my bike racing after I heal up and get back to riding again. And that's, this is a bitter pill to swallow, but I, I, you know, I talked to the PA about it and I've talked to the surgeon about it and, and both of them are telling me, you know, at, at six weeks, you can do whatever you want to do. Well, that's what I was told last time. And, uh, I, you know, too many people have had hernia surgeries four or five times and, I want this to be the last time. I asked them, what is the lifespan of this surgery? And they said, my lifetime. Well, I plan on living a long time still, and I just can't believe that I'm going to go out and, and push hard gears like I have and not have this come back again. And, and so that is pretty much what I've, I've come down to accepting, I think, that um, I'm, going to continue to, I'm, I'm going to continue to ride, and I'm going to continue to bike race, but... Um, I'm just not going to push any more hard gears. And uh, that's going to mean that I'm not going to be racing as competitively. And that's just the way it's going to be because I just can't be doing this every single year. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, it's, 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 yeah, it's a major inconvenience. And it's just, uh, that's a lot of, uh, it's just a lot of stuff. So anyhow, that's, that's my plan. So, but I think everything is going very, very well. Again, relatively no pain. I'm able to go out and walk as much as I want. I feel like I have to kind of slow myself down from walking too much and, and too fast because I feel so good. Um, I really don't need to go out and make it into an interval workout. I'm um, just trying to take it easy and uh, eat healthy, um, keep hydrated, stuff like that. So maybe I'll leave a, a, a post-op um, video at six weeks just to let you know I'm back on my bike and everything's great. But so far, I'm pleased with how things are going and I continue to heal up well. Thanks for leaving comments on the uh, other videos, and please feel to comment below this one. It really helps a lot of people who are curious about inguinal hernia surgery and might have fears of their own or uh, just have questions. So that, that helps. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Dave, and I'll see you on my next video.